One of the biggest traditions is, of course, reviewing the most recent Treehouse of Horror. Uh, last year, I started to go take a look at some, look at some of my two of my favorite Simpsons episodes, uh, The Shinning and The Devil and Homer Simpson. And this year, I'm going to take a look at a few more. So these are, of course, some of my favorite Treehouse of Horror segments from The Simpsons. So the very first one I'm going to talk about is probably my favorite, just for the fact that it is recreating the poem The Raven, which is, of course, one of my favorite works by Edgar Allan Poe. This one is great. It's great having Homer be the one. And, of course, you get to see him interact with the raven, which is, of course, Bart. This has always been one of my favorites. And I always look back at this one every single year. So another one is that I really like is the... Basically, when Bart raises the dead, I really enjoy this one because, of course, it's Bart, and he's now kind of raising the dead, and it's kind of interesting seeing all the zombies, but one of my favorite parts of it was when, he, of course, he shot the zombie Ned Flanders, and, you know, they're like, you shot Ned! You shot the zombie Ned! He was a zombie? Homer's like, he was a zombie? Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> I just, that part is just hilarious in the entire show for me. Um, now, of course, I really think it's funny, of course, seeing how Bart, you know, you get to see why Bart did it. He wanted to just save Snowball, you know, for Lisa, and it just turned out this entire mess they created. I've always laughed at that one. The Devil and Homer, the Devil and Homer Simpsons and the Shitting are also a couple of my favorites. One with the Devil is because, of course, it's Ned Flanders as the Devil, which is just hilarious. And you also get to see him put trial, Homer on trial, basically because he wants his soul, because he gave him a soul donut, basically. You know, if he eats the little donut, his soul is him. In the shinning, I just like because you get to see Homer go crazier than usual. No beer, no, and no TV, make Homer or something, so he's going crazy. And it's great, it's great, kind of a little, kind of law nods to the shining, which is just amazing. And I also really think I like the attack of the 50-foot eyesores. So basically, Homer steals a donut, and this leads to all those little ad icons coming to life, and basically destroying the city. It's amazing. I always laugh at that one. I always do. Now, also with that being said, uh, of course, in that one, you also have when they basically recreate kind of the kind of elements of you know, Freddy Krueger, this of course being Willy in another segment, and Willy is basically going into all the ch elementary school children's dreams and killing them. He's basically getting revenge to the parents for not, you know, putting him out when he would call him fire because of a boiler. I don't know what that one's called. I, I don't quite know the name of that segment, but I do know I really enjoy it. Now, what was kind of interesting, another segment that I really enjoyed was when... Homer basically got abducted by aliens, and the aliens then pretended to be the political figures. <laughs> they basically took over the two political figures of that time, and it was just hilarious. <laughs> you get to see them, you know, they're not really acting like these political, but they're trying to get in power, because technically once they get elected, they can rule the world, and I really think it. Of course, King Kodos, they're always amazing, they're always funny, I always enjoy them whenever they appear in the show. So the last one I'm going to just talk about right now is, of course, Hell to Pay. Homer gets a hair transplant, but the hair actually is from Snape, who takes over, the hair takes over Homer, and he becomes Snape. <laughs> what else do I have to say? Homer becomes Snape. It's funny. You also get to see him kill all the people who were witnesses to what Snape crime. And it's interesting seeing a different kind of version of Homer. <laughs> It's kind of funny how the hair just kind of comes back, then all of a sudden, he's Snape. <laughs> so yeah, those are all some of my favorite Treehouse of Horror moments from the first ten Treehouse of Horrors. And tell me your guys' thoughts. What are just some of your favorite Treehouse of Horror segments from the first ten Treehouse of Horror specials? And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.